Example number 1. 1 1.2 plus negative 3.4. Step 1. Determine the final sign. We want to determine if the answer is going to be positive or negative. And there's a phrase that can help us to do that. That phrase is same sign same, different keep the larger. So if I look at my numbers, I have one positive number and one negative number. So we will use different keep the larger. And what this means is we're going to keep the sign of the number with the greater absolute value. We can determine that by looking at the numbers, ignoring the negative sign, and determining which number is bigger, 1.2 or 3.4. If you said 3.4, you're exactly correct. And since 3.4 is a negative number, our solution will also be negative. Step 2. Add or subtract. Since we know we have different signs, we are going to use different signs subtract. And 3.4 minus 1.2 is equal to 2.2. So the final answer will be negative 2.2. Example number 2. Negative 2.5 plus negative 6.2. Step 1. Determine the final sign. If we look at our numbers, we notice that both of the numbers are negative. So we will use same sign same, which means since both of the numbers are negative, the solution will also be negative. Step 2. Add or subtract. Since we have the same signs, we are going to use same signs add. And 2.5 plus 6.2 is equal to 8.7. So the final answer will be negative 8.7. Example number 3. 5 sixths plus negative 2 sixths. Step 1. Determine the final sign. Since I have one number that's positive and one number that's negative, we will use different keep the larger, which means we keep the sign of the number with the greater absolute value. We can determine this by looking at the numbers, ignoring the negative sign. And which number is bigger, 5 6 or 2 6? If you said 5 6, you are correct. And since that is a positive number, our answer will also be positive. Step 2 Add or subtract. Since we have different signs, we will use different signs subtract. And 5 6 minus 2 6 is equal to 3 6. But I know I can simplify that. What can I divide both 3 and 6 by? If you said 3, you're exactly correct. And when I divide the numerator and denominator by 3, I'm left with the fraction 1 half. So the final answer will be 1 half. But notice I do not have to keep that plus sign in the answer. So I can just write it as 1 half. Example number 4. Negative 2 and 1 third plus negative 1 and 2 thirds. Step 1. Determine the final sign. Since both of these numbers are negative, I will use same sign same. And since both of them are negative, my solution will also be negative. Step 2. Add or subtract. Since I have the same signs, I will use same signs add. And since I have mixed fractions, I'm going to first add the fractions. So 1 third plus 2 thirds equals 3 thirds, or 1. And then I'm going to add the whole numbers. 2 plus 1 is equal to 3. And lastly, I can add those numbers together. 3 plus 1 is equal to 4. So the final answer will be negative 4. Example number 1. Subtraction. And when we look at this problem, it looks a lot more complicated. But the good news is, is I'm actually going to use something called keep change change to change this subtraction problem into an addition problem. How keep change change works is I'm going to keep the first number the same, so I'll keep that negative 4.5 the same, I'll change that minus sign into a plus sign. And then I'll change that last number to its opposite. So the opposite of a negative 5.5 is a positive 5.5. And if you look, now we have an addition problem. 
so we can use the same steps from before. Step 1. Determine the final sign. If I look at my numbers, I can see the first number is negative and the second number is positive. So we will use different keep the larger, which means we will take the sign of the number with the greater absolute value. We can determine which one that is by looking at the numbers, ignoring the negative sign. So which number is bigger, 4.5 or 5.5? If you said 5.5, you're exactly correct. And since that's a positive number, I know my solution will also be positive. Step 2. Add or subtract. Since we have different signs, we are going to use different signs subtract. And 5.5 minus 4.5 equals 1.0 or just 1. We can get rid of that plus sign and our answer will be 1. Example number 2. Subtraction. Negative 3 eighths minus 4 eighths. So just like the last problem, we can change this into an addition problem using keep, change, change. Which means we keep the negative 3 eighths the same, change the minus sign into a plus sign, and take the opposite of the last number. So what is the opposite of a positive 4 eighths? Negative 4 eighths. And now we have an addition problem. So we can follow the same steps from before. Step 1. Determine the final sign. If I look at my numbers, I notice that both of them are negative, which means I will use same sign same. And since both of them are negative, my answer will also be negative. Step 2. Add or subtract. Since I have the same signs, I'm going to use same signs add. And 3 eighths plus 4 eighths is equal to 7 eighths. So the final answer will be negative 7 eighths. Here are four problems I would like you to try. I would recommend you pause the video now, solve, and then resume when you're ready to see if your solutions are correct. All right, let's check it out. Number one is equal to one half. Number two is equal to negative 10.7. Number three is equal to negative 5.9. And number four is equal to five and three fourths. If you had any of these incorrect, I would recommend you pause, review your work, and see if you can find your mistake. Thank you for watching.